had many jobs, but always there was that little part of me that needed to get back to my art. At 50, I decided to, t to see if I could do this. It was time. So I graduated at 60 years old. When I came to the printmaking, that was the key. The equipment, the, what you feel when you're turning that, uh, press to get the pressure for your pieces. It's, it's magic what happens when you pull it off. You know, you pull the blankets off, you pull the paper back to see what that plate uh, block had created. I um, started to play with paper, making paper, um, which I had done at another workshop and came up with this formula of abaca and cotton. I came, started to incorporate it in my work and it was about absorbing and how everybody absorbs life, love, and loss differently. When I submerged the pieces of paper in the, um, in the, in the bath, um, I imagine all that absorbing, how, you know, it's almost cathartic a little bit and it sounds a little flip, but, um, when, they, when I open them up, they're all different. I'm doing the same process, but they're all different. My father was a New York City fireman, um, and he lost his life in a fire. And actually, the uh, building that he was in, the floors collapsed in the building, and a lot of firemen died from the floor collapse. And why the floors collapsed was they watered down illegally stored paper. And I'm surrounded by paper, so where is that? I mean, a psychiatrist would be like, oh boy, this is a good one. <laughs> I feel a push from wherever that is. It's a project for someone else's honor. When I come in, I leave the world behind. That's as simple as it is. It's lower the shoulders, it's breathe, and it's the balance. When I leave here, I feel like I'm another, a better person. I just feel right. And it's because I'm creating something. It's because all what's in there is coming out. I think there's a, f um, we're spoiled and we don't realize how spoiled we are to live in a rural place that you open your door, you hear birds and deer, see deer and turkey go by. You know, we made a lot of uh, choices to be here. Women have a lot to um, share. Um, they have a lot to say. If you have that passion, how do you balance that with family and work and life? But we don't, women generally are givers and they don't, they're not, uh, you know, there's not a lot of um, self-enrichment, but only you can do that.